What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I would like to give you guys two players that will be X-Factors for our Atlanta Falcons in this week's matchup against the Cincinnati Bengals. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. Um, I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for your continued support. Uh, continuing to share out my uh, content on all the social media platforms. If you would like to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Jutalk Sports. And if you would like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, uh, which is the dollar sign Jutalk Sports. And if you'd like to be a part of my Jutalk Sports membership, uh, you can hit that join tab here on the channel as well. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So as I mentioned in today's video, I do want to talk about two players that will be X factors for our Atlanta Falcons uh, in this week's matchup against the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, this is an away game for our Atlanta Falcons, um, and it will be played tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, but with that being said, uh, on the defensive side of the ball in this game, I think the player that will be the X factor will be uh, star cornerback A.J. Terrell. Um, as you guys know, he did tweak his hamstring, I believe, last week um, in the game against the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, but good news is uh, reports came out yesterday that A.J. Terrell should be active for this game, uh, which is huge because Casey Hayward uh, did go down last week with a shoulder injury and was placed on IR. So this is huge that A.J. Terrell is able to play in this game because we would have been down our top two corners if he wasn't able to go in this game. And we know this is kind of a revenge game for a lot of people um, because uh, A.J. Terrell did face Jamar Chase in the championship game, um, LSU versus Clemson. And uh, Jamar Chase got the better of A.J. Terrell in that matchup. And that was one of the big reasons or one of the talking points for a lot of people in the NFL draft um, about A.J. Terrell um, is was he as good as a lot of people thought. Um, so I definitely think in this game, this is going to be a game that A.J. Terrell had circled um, in his locker, in the locker room. This is a game he probably had circled for a really long time uh, when he found out that we will be facing the Cincinnati Bengals. And we know in this game, the strength of the Cincinnati Bengals is their wide receiving core. Um, the, the three um, wide receivers that they have are probably the three, uh, one of the best trios in the NFL with Jamar Chase, T. Higgins and Tyler Boyd. Uh, so in this game, our secondary is going to have their hands full, but I definitely think that our secondary is the strongest uh, unit on our defense. And I said that going into the season that I thought that this defense, um, the secondary was going to be probably the strongest unit on this Atlanta Falcons team. And it seemed that that has come to fruition. If you look at this Atlanta Falcons team so far this year, um, this corner, uh, these cornerbacks in this secondary, our safeties, are to me the strongest unit, especially on the defensive side of the ball. They're the strongest unit on this Atlanta Falcons team. So good news is um, that is a strength for us in this game. I'm not too sure um, if A.J. Terrell is going to follow and travel with uh, Jamar Chase in this game because we're down Casey Hayward and Dean Pease has talked about, you know, when you move guys around and let them, you know, let them follow the best wide receiver. If that receiver goes into the slot, you got to have another corner that's willing to play the boundary and go on the outside. So without us being, um, you know, without us having um, Casey Hayward now due to that shoulder injury being placed on IR, I'm not too sure if A.J. Terrell will be able to travel with uh, Jamar Chase in this game. But I'm not too concerned in this game, um, being that I believe Dean Pease in this game will play a lot of shell coverage, meaning two deep safeties. We know that Dean Pease doesn't like to give up big plays on defense and the Cincinnati Bengals live uh, live on big plays or live off of big plays. They love to throw the ball down the field and they pretty much that's their M.O. And that's what they want to do is the big play. And I talked about it a little bit in our live show on Wednesday that it's important that the Falcons in this game uh, be careful um, because the off script plays are what makes the Cincinnati Bengals offense explosive. And in this game, um, you have to tackle well in this game. Uh, Jamar Chase is one of those guys. He's great run after catch. We seen it last week uh, with his run after catch on the game winning touchdown against the New Orleans Saints, where he had a 60 yard touchdown. 
So in this game, it's going to be important that the Atlanta Falcons not only cover well, but they tackle well in space. Don't allow these wide receivers of the Cincinnati Bengals to run out the catch and get big plays. But I do think in this game, A.J. Terrell um, is going to get his revenge. I do think in this game, um, if he does follow um, Jamar Chase, he's going to win some. He's going to lose some. But I definitely think in this game, our defense as a whole, um, they've been playing really well as a unit, especially on the back end. Guys like Darren Hall, who played last week after Casey Hayward got injured, played really well coming off the bench, which was shocking to see how well he played. Um, being that he hasn't played a, a lot of snaps on defense. But I really think that this unit on the back end is really good. Um, and the ball skills of these young players are really good on in our secondary. That's something that I really noticed this year with the secondary unit. These guys do a good job of locating the football. And that's something that our corners have struggled with uh, over the last couple seasons is being able to locate the football, not getting pass interferences and things of that nature. Uh, but this year, this team is doing a good job of pass breakups. We've seen it last week with Darren Hall against Brandon Ayuk. And we've seen a lot of uh, interceptions. Last week we had uh, Jalen Hawkins with the interception. So with that being said, on the uh, offensive side of things, I think in this game that the X factor is going to be running back Caleb Huntley. Um, Caleb Huntley to me has been one of those guys ever since he's got, in the, got into the game uh, in that first game when they brought him in. He's been one of those guys that runs the ball great downhill. Um, to me, he's a perfect scheme fit as far as Arthur Smith's running game uh, because he's a strong physical runner. He's a one-cut back. He doesn't do a lot of dancing in the backfield. He's a guy that's usually going to get you uh, one to two yards every single time, even if um, it's guys in the backfield, which we've seen last week against the 49ers. They were swarming to the football. But even on plays when they were swarming to the football and it looks like we were going to lose yardage, both Caleb Huntley and Tyler Algier, they do a good job of always muscling one or two extra yards and not getting caught behind the chains, not getting tackled in the backfield, even when there's guys all around them. So I definitely think Caleb Huntley is the guy who's been the unsung hero in the backfield. He doesn't get a lot of credit. Um, a lot of people don't talk about him because he's not really a flashy player, but he is one of those guys um, that's really hard to tackle. Um, he's like a Mack truck, very physical, coming downhill. And I think in this game against the Cincinnati Bengals, he's going to be the guy, I think, in this game that's going to probably have a touchdown uh, in this game. But I think he's going to be the leading rusher in this game. And I think he's going to be the X factor. Um, every time he's gotten into the game, to me, he's a game changer. Um, he's always uh, is like a change of pace type back with, the, with his physicality. And I think in this game, he's going to be the X factor on offense. Um, I think in the fourth quarter, when guys get tired and they get tired of tackling these guys as 230 pounds plus coming downhill, running behind their pads, I think he's the guy in this game that's going to wear out that Cincinnati Bengals, uh, wear out that Cincinnati Bengals defense. Um, they're going to get tired of tackling both him and Tyler Algier coming downhill. And I think by the fourth quarter, we're going to be able to wear these guys down and our offensive line is going to be able to do what they've done pretty much the whole season which is wear down the opposing uh, defensive lines uh, with that running game. So uh, in this game, I do think uh, Caleb Huntley will have a touchdown, and I think he will be uh, the X factor on the offensive side of things. Um, the Cincinnati Bengals are kind of banged up on defense. I think they're missing their starting middle linebacker or one of their inside linebackers. So I definitely think in this game we should have our way, like we usually do in the running game on the ground. Uh, but with that being said, you guys let me know what you think uh, of the X factors of this game. Uh, like I said, my two X factors are going to be star corner AJ Terrell and running back Caleb Huntley. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to have a lot more content coming for you guys as always. Uh, Falcon Station, rise up. Peace.